Hello, welcome to Discover Hacks. Uh, today I will talk about Emacs and how to use Elat for programming Java. So for many years now, I've been using LSP mode to program in Java in Emacs and it's great. LSP is awesome. Um, but I've been really curious to find out how to use Elat. How good is Elat these days for programming Java in Emacs? And the, the pull of course is that Elat comes out of the box with Emacs. And it is supposed to be a lot easier to get going. You just, well, don't do anything or you must install the language server itself. But apart from that, you don't need anything in Emacs. That's the, that's the theory. Um, there are a couple of things I need to work in Emacs. One is to run JUnit tests. I need Lumbok and other annotation processors to work. And I need a decompiler. So, the first thing we're starting out with Eglot was it's extremely chatty. It writes a lot, a lot of uh, HPUT and it's not really that interesting. So one variable to set uh, immediately is Eglot for progress to nil. That will make it a lot more comfortable. Um, so Lomok and other Java agents, and I'll show you what it is. So uh, typically in Java, you will have um, you will have a model, let's say if we have coffee.java and coffee has a name, right? The name, the kind of coffee. And you want, typically you will have what will have a structure uh, to set the name. Mm. Uh, you will have a get name method to get the re retrieve it. You will have a hash code um, equals to string, all, all these regular um, methods. And Lombok allows you to have an annotation style where you say data that's typically get set here and, and stuff and equals and all of that. And then you have a builder. So you can use a builder pattern rather than a constructor to create and, and uh, create your objects. Uh, and the only problem with this is that Emacs doesn't think it's a good idea. It marks it with a, with a red underline and it says uh, the method doesn't exist. This, of course, is that you need to add an annotation processor to the compiler plugin in Maven for this to, to work. Um, oh yeah, by the way, while we're here, you can see some other nice things. It underlines this, that this uh, method doesn't exist either, and we can use code completion. So here I can say create method. I could actually just have it enter because that was the default action. And then it creates the method for you. That's really nice. Well, so back to the annotation processor. There are a couple of ways to get this working. I find the best, easiest way is to use .nrc files. So these are files where you set variables just like in bash rc. And there is one called Java tools option options. Uh, and this is a really old variable that the JVM supports and allows you to set variable uh, variables you <laughs> I should say very options to the 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 JVM command line. So here I need an agent. So a lot of magic stuff in the drum world they're handled with agents. So including annotation processors. So here's Lombok. And to figure out the actual jar file, um I used Maven itself. So I have Maven for this project and so I use Maven dependency list to get a flat list of all the libraries used. And then grep for Lumbok and then a bit of all code, uh, cut, translate, set, and uh, then eventually we get the file name dash version, well, the, the artifact ID, and then dash version, and then dot jar. Then you can pass that to find in your local Maven repository, and then you will find the full file reference. Of course, this works because I have used Lumbok in the project before and I've done Maven compile and then it downloads it because it's in the dependency block in the MyPom file. Well, this is all standard Maven stuff, but anyway, to get this working in Emacs. So put this into the .nrc file. Then I need this command line tool called dirn. And then there's a Emacs package called uh, nvrc and I enable it globally because I really, really like it and I want it everywhere. I used it in the past for Python projects and it uh, turns out it's useful for all kinds of things, including Java projects. So there you go. So once you've set that up, then you need to 
load it. So I do nrc reload. And now Emacs says it's screen, it has loaded this variable. And there's also an allow <clears throat> command that you need to run the first team. Um, this is all in the dir env documentation. So with that now, now this is loaded in the in the, in the environment. So if I go to my class here inside Emacs, and you can say builder is still red, and then I can restart my eagle up, my JVM because I need this Java agent to be added to the JVM command line. So I do yes there. So now it stops the previous one. So that's server exhibit nine, and then. Yeah, it gets messages that it's running again. And now you can see it's no no longer red. Um, and it really in, it even inlines the, the name variable here. Um, and it gives you, yeah, completion. And you can see get name here works as well. And if I do jump to it, it jumps to the field declaration itself. So Emacs understands there is actually, there is no, actual get name method, but there is a field and because of the annotation processor, uh, the place to jump to is this line here, line nine. So this is really, really cool. And of course, a lot of Java stuff works this way with Java agents. Um, yeah, and then the code completions, uh, we mentioned, of course, your regular code completion as well. You can do S dot and you get, let's see, it's because the font was a bit too big. There you go. Um, so that's important. Um, and then I mentioned I need to run J unit, J, J unit tests. So I've written a, a, um, a method called Java run J unit at point. So either the method order to class and this works then regardless of, uh, using LSP mode or ELOT. Uh, so in LSP mode, you can use the DAP. So the de de debug adapter mode to run JUnit tests. But uh, yeah, this method here works as well. It will also work with standard Java method, Java mode in Emacs, and also works on the class level. Um, the other thing I had to write, uh, because there was a thing called eglot-java, but I couldn't get that to work. And it seems to be, uh, yeah, not updated uh, in a real long time. So I just abandoned that one and I went with writing some stuff myself and then using the default eglot uh, functionality that comes with Emacs. Um, so yeah, the decompiler works like this. You, it needs to have a class file and then you run decompile class and then use uses the same firm flyer decompiler that IntelliJ uses. Uh, and then you get some generated uh, source code. You can tell like throwable var 10, uh, no human would write that, but the decompiler uh, has no scruples. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Let's see. Oh yeah, documentation. Did I mention documentation? Yeah, it did. And then there's also FlyMake, so it shows you all the errors and warnings in the current file. Uh, there's also the same thing just for the project. Uh, so it's, it, this is really nice and it's fast. That's important. And the same with the documentation lookup, it's really, really fast. So I really, uh, yeah, really like it. Uh, I find there is a certain calmness to reading documentation instead of Emacs. There's no, nothing to distract you. That's good. All right, so that was the Java tool options, Unix variable. Um, LDoc, we talked about LDoc box, so that's the uh, at point pop up, so that's the mini frame. Um, and FlyMake, it, everything works out of the box, and naturally, if you use Eagle for other modes, other languages, then you have the same benefits. Um, yeah, it's still behind LSP mode. You you can notice when LSP, there are so many things that just works out of the box without doing anything. And the way the decompiler 
for instance, worksite, that it uh, finds the jar file of the third party library and then it decompiles the class file inside of the year and stuff. It's really, really neat. Uh, but Eaglet is, is a good second and that it comes to Emacs is a big plus. So have a lot of fun with it. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.